now we're recording in text or three. And I can take this over here, turn it around, put it out in front, uh, and expose the innards, so it's the inside of the, of the heart beating, and you can grab it and turn it around again, uh, so that, okay, and so this is the augmented view, over there with the mouse, that one there is the standard or augmented view. And now we're back to the standard view, where it's not floating in front of the device, but I am still grabbing it. You got it? I'll be closer. There you go. Yeah, so your movie from one that looks really nice on and we can your go computer back to, the theater. We can go back to... Augmented. Augmented. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Do the other one. Go back to home real quick. Okay. Wonderful. Awesome. Click on it. Can you take the robotic and put it on that inside of the photo? Right there. Okay. This is another one I wanted you to see. Okay. There's a robotic arm, right? Yep. You can you can oh. take it apart yourself or you can explode it. That's what happens when you explode it. Okay. So mm -hmm. everything and then you can highlight you can then you say, I want to magnify that. I want to make that piece bigger, like on this size. Okay, I like it. And then put it towards it. Okay, and watch it on your screen. So, the students look like I can do this. There's this massive. Now, with this one, this is a dissection tool. So your top button becomes your scapula, right? Oh, okay. Um, the, not scapula, what is it called? Uh, the scalpel? Scalpel, yes. The scapula is right here. But anyway, um, go ahead and... And the left... The, the left, left low, exactly. You got it. Yep. Yep. Let me have it out here. And there you go. So, yeah. so now we're... And if we can explode or blueprint. Oh, and this is this is for the uh, for the engineering and the building people. There is something. The highlight and I can click it. To, no, so you there want me to put uh -huh. it where? Yep, just put it right there. Yep. Oh, right there. That's awesome. Yep, yep. And then now, yep, that's good for now. Oh. And you can make that bigger by the way. Okay. Oh, and it's right in right Click on resize. And pull that screen out more, make it bigger. Watch it, see? Look on that screen. Right there. And click on move. Okay, and then go and pick up that camera and put it inside the house and move it around and watch your screen. Because remember, he asked if we could record. Where are you now? See? You're inside the house right now. Can you see? Floors, yep, yep. one, two, three. Floors, yep. Yep. So now, and then we can. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got it. Like yep. yep. And remember, Peter, this is just the experience. This is just showing you the capabilities of ZSpace. Mm -hmm. So remember, Studio is the biggest app that we have that you can connect to a 3D printer. And the beauty about that one is that's the one that's that's compatible with any CAD or CAM programs. So whatever they've created on those programs, they could easily import here. There you go. So yeah, in terms of creation, that's what uh -huh. we were wondering about. Yeah. So you're saying so that Studio? You, yep, Studio is where it should be. So for example, do you know of any CAD or CAM program that they're using? Um, let's say SketchUp or SolidWorks, right? Okay. Whatever they've yeah. created in that platform, they did. They do what you did, put it on the jump drive, put it in here, 
and it voila, it's in there. That's how easy it is. And then they can do all the changes that they want through ZSpace and then connect it to a 3D printer if they want to print it. So all the creation happens in studio.